I think still it's the uh, importance of the uh, of the women's movement and what women are doing. And um, down the hall is the office of my colleague Bernie McGinn, and um, and the importance of um, women's voices in the past. And so uh, uh, the recovery of the mystical tradition, which he has uh, has uh, uh, has helped in leading. Uh, is very important as it gives us uh, suggestions about ways that um, were not part of the mainstream theological tradition, but uh, have importance uh, for our community. And I call that women's voices. And um, and the mystical tradition is one of the places where um, women spoke. Uh, sometimes they spoke through their uh, men confessors. Uh, one of one of our students did a dissertation showing that uh, Meister Eckhart was uh, quite influenced by several uh, women uh, uh, mystics in his period. Um, but uh, what's important is to see that um, these expressions of profound experience of uh, of God. Um, are there in our heritage and they've been covered over and, and kind of lost and so recovering them today is a very important um, important reality and I'm at the receiving end just enjoying the fruits of such scholarship and um, and seeing that it uh, offers ways of, um, of developing women's potential today so as I look back at um, my career here, here as a uh, as a scholar, one of my proudest moments was when several of my students um, organized what they called a um, how to put it um, a conference on uh, French feminism, theology and French feminism, and they edited a book and um, and uh, and have now gone on. One's at Notre Dame, one's at uh, Florida, and they're, they're all over the country. But they're um, they're carrying on this tradition of uh, finding in women's studies um, uh, interesting paths and um, ways of talking about how uh, how women experience God in our very own tradition. <laughs>